we are going to see what are the types of modes available in SAP MDG. There are two types of modes are available in SAP MDG. One is reuse mode and another one is flex mode. Before understanding types of mode, better we need to understand what are the tables are available in SAP MDG. One is staging area or staging table and another one is actual tables or SAP tables. Staging area means while processing the change request, data is stored in staging table or staging area. Actual tables are SAP tables. For example, we have creating one uh, change request for create new vendor or supplier. There is initiator, business, uh, data specialist and data steward. Initiate creates the change request and enters the vendor creation data. Next course is for the data specialist who, who reviews the data and gives the approval or rejects. Then once it approves, goes for the data steward. Once he activates data, depends on the mode, it will reflect the SAP table automatically or we need to do manually. This is called as modes in SAP MDG. There are two types of modes, reuse mode and flux mode. Before and going further, better we need to understand through SAP system. The staging table or staging area, if you go to program USMD data model, I select BP data model. If I take central data, BP Central So this is actually the table this is changes system by system in each system name will be unique but the field name then name will be same okay BP Central uh, BP birth like this will be same okay if I click on execute, see what happens in reuse mode. Once data is activated, you can see right, data will be reflected directly to the SAP system. That means data will be stored in the actual SAP table. If I take SU, um, but uh, beauty triple zero table the data will be stored comes and stores here okay and whatever data is there in a staging area will be deleted you can see right usmd active zero means it's under processing once it activate it becomes one and one becomes at one then data will be erased from staging area and it will goes directly to the actual tables in reuse mode okay this is reuse mode after activation change request data replication is not required data replicates automatically from staging table or to actual tables staging data will be erased after activation the change request what are the data models for the material management, supplier, customer, business partners, all these under reuse mode. Okay. We see in here this one. And another one is flex mode. After activation, the change request data replication required manually we need to do manually from 
SAP system, SAP from MDG system to SAP ECC or HANA or external system. Data replication can be done through SOA configuration, ad hoc or RFC configuration. Data remains in staging area after activation. It becomes here the flag which I showed you previously. Here data will become one like act, uh, this one flag will become one and data will remains same. If I go, I'll check cross check whether we have any finance related data. Yeah, you can see right after activation flag the data remains here same all the data will remain okay and used in periodic validation master data like gl account cost center profit center periodic validation in this in for a particular uh, period of time uh, say for example gl account we want for uh, certain quarters or uh, years you can maintain Use them based on the uh, periodic validations okay. and most used in uh, FI model. Okay. This is the MDG system, the staging area, and data replication uh, to the SAP ECC or S4 ANA. We need to do to the data replication model using RFC or SOA or ad hoc configuration. Thank you.